We are creating the hardest tower defense game you've played. We've been working on the game for the past three years with a small team of developers, artists, and community members. We will release an alpha version soon. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and join our Discord server. Hello guys, this is Ragos speaking with my new and improved voice, bringing you another exciting episode of our Game Devlog series. In case you missed our last video where we focused on item transmute functionality, you can catch up by clicking the link here. In this video, I will provide a summary of all the things we worked on. There are around 60 new changes, fixes, and updates. I will not cover every single detail here. You can find the comprehensive list of updates on our Discord channel. Check out the link in the description. Okay, let's dive in. Our tech mage or builder is now able to, well, build towers. We introduced a new blueprint mechanism. Players will see a tower blueprint until the tech mage constructs the tower at the designated spot. Players now have the ability to drop items directly onto towers or tower item slots in the UI HUD. The player can also swap items in the tower item slots. The integration of our research functionality has begun. Players can research metal towers using science points, with new towers automatically appearing in the shop each wave. We've introduced a zooming feature, experimenting with different options and eventually settling on a continuous angled zoom. Here are the major visual enhancements, updated health bars, more interactive and helpful in indicating remaining hit points for creeps. Changed the dissolve color upon creep death to match the enemy's race. For example, green for orcs and gray for undead. We also added small visual updates, such as an idle hovering effect for items on the ground. This cool visual effect on these weird enchanted pillars. A waypoint marker for the tech mage. and indicators for selected enemy, tower, and tech mage. Critical hit damage, experience, and gold floating texts. We've refined existing features to enhance the player experience. These changes include tweaks to UI interactions and visual cues, such as hiding the shop's UI panel when a user right-clicks on an empty space, and other changes like not displaying the build area grid when a tower is selected. Highlighting the tower when the player hovers over the tower HUD UI or selects it. As we approach the alpha release, we've been fine-tuning the in-game values for mechanics like correct damage calculations upon enemies leaking, correct gold returns when selling towers, and correct upgrade costs. Upholding our commitment to the UTD game kit, we've dedicated efforts to its improvement. This time around, we focused primarily on optimizations, resulting in a faster and smoother game experience. We also added other minor features like allowing the user to set currency or units for the stats displayed in tooltips or other UI sections. The game kit will allow players to create their custom mods for the game or even totally new games. In the midst of all this progress, we certainly had to fix a bug or two. All in all, it's looking like a playable game. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications. Stay tuned for our next update. Ragos out.